Okay, guys, I'm going to do example one now. I took this example out of Mind and Gap, which is a great 12 book. Debtors um, Reconciliation is a topic that uh, will be handled in grade 12 as well. Remember, debtors control is an asset, and therefore it will increase in my debit side and decrease in my credit side. Now they give me the following information. They say the, ba the balance of my debtors control account is 200,000 on the 31st of March. So I already entered my balance. Balance on the side on which my account increases. Then they give me balances for my debtors ledger. You will see for the debtors that had no effect, I already put the totals there. And for the others, I started a bracket with the amounts given in the information. Now let's read uh, through the following errors and omissions and see where we must correct the uh, mistakes. Now they say here, the debtors journal, the debtors journal has been overcast increased with too much 2600 now what effect will a debtors journal have on my debtors control account remember my debtors journal will increase my debtors control account and it was overcast with 2600 so in my debtors control there's an extra 2600 so what will i have to do to correct this i will have to decrease it in my debtors control account just look here they ask us to calculate the correct closing balance i only use the a control account to make it easier for you to explain so what i'm going to do i'm going to decrease with 2600 rand which means if i do my calculation it will be 200,000 minus 2600 remember debtors journal will increase it was with too much it was an overcost so we have to decrease on my credit side for, uh, the error follow the following error for b an invoice issued now remember this is now my source document to s wonder for 1800 had not yet been recorded so it's not in my control account and it's not in my debtors ledger so we have to do this correction in both accounts. So um, let's just make sure if we issue an invoice, it means we sold something. So my debtors control account must increase with 1,800 Rand. In S1, this ledger account, debtors ledger, it will also have to increase with 1,800 Rand. Next transaction. Stock sold on credit to P. Collins was incorrectly charged to the account of Janssen. So now we have two debtors here. We've got Collins and we've got Janssen. So the stock was sold to Collins, but it was charged against the account of Janssen. So what will we have to do? We have to take it out of Janssen's account, that 8,300, and put it into Collins' account. Remember now, this is not an error that was made in my journal, so it won't affect my debtors control. It's for the individual debtors. The next um, piece of information. An invoice was issued, now remember, Invoice issued tells me it affects my debtors journal. To P. Collins for 6,000 had been posted to the wrong side of his account. It's not an error on the ledger, or on the journal, the debtors journal. It is an error on the debtors ledger, on his account. So let me just quickly show you. If I had P. Collins account here, which is an asset, when an invoice is issued, it should increase his account. But they posted it to the wrong side of his account. So they put it on the credit side. Now for me to correct this error, I first have to take out the mistake. How am I going to correct this? I'm going to remove this mistake. I will have to put it on my debit side. 
Now this error is cancelled. But is the invoice that was issued now in P. Collins' account? No, it's not there. So I will have to put it in. So because this amount of 6000 was posted to the wrong side, I first have to cancel the error and correct it. So Collins' um, account will have to be increased with the following. I'm going to say plus 6000 plus 6000 but you will still get your marks if you add it together and say plus 12000 you will still the marks will still be awarded to you um, and this is just the wrong side of his account so it will only affect his ledger next one a check of 13500 originally originally received from um, R Janssen in settlement of an invoice of 15,000 was returned by the bank due to insufficient funds. So, are we only going to increase the amount to 13,500? No, we will have to do the cash and the discount allowed. So, um, they say to us, no entries have been made. So, we have to do it in our debtors control account and do the correction in my debtors list and in his ledger so when a check is cancelled refer to draw we will have to increase my debtors control again and I'm going to increase it remember a part of it's going to be out of my cash payment journal the 13,500 and the 1,500 will be out of my general journal but in total we are going to add 15,000 and to R. Janssen's account, we are also going to add 15,000. So let's correct our last error. Um, goods sold on credit to S. Wonder for 5,800 uh, 5, were correctly recorded in the debtor's journal. If it is correct in the debtor's journal, it means it's correct in my debtor's control account but incorrectly posted to S. Wonders account. If it's S. Wonders account, it's the debtor's ledger that will be affected. So let's just make sure what happened. We posted it as 8,500 and it should have been 5,800. So there's an overcast. Let's quickly calculate this. 8,500 minus 5,800 and with an overcast, of 2700 so we will have to decrease the 2700 is wonder minus 2700 now hopefully we've done all our calculations correctly and let's see if our debtors control the balance of our debtors control will be the same as our debtors list so let's say 200,000 Minus 2,600 plus 1,800 plus 15,000 gives me a total of 214,200. Let's check my data's list. We've got Janssen, so it is 41,200 minus. 8,300 plus that 15,000 and this gives me 47,900 is wonder 23,000 plus 1,800 minus 2,700 and this gives me a total of 20,480 and then I think I this calculation is wrong. You see, I put in 180, not 1,800. Let me just quickly go correct that. 23,000 plus 1,800 minus 2,700. And this gives me 22,100. Now, this looks much better. <laughs> and then my last one, P. Collins. It's 7,900 plus 8,300, plus my 12,000, and this gives me 
keep on missing the zeros. You mustn't do this in a test as I'm doing it right now. Okay, that looks better. 28,000 to 100. Now we just add all the, to uh, the totals of my data lists. 64,500 plus 47,900 plus 22,100 plus 51,500 plus 28,200 and this gives me a total of 214,200. And is the total of my debtors list the same as the balance of my debtors control account? Yes, it's the same. So now my debtors uh, control account and my list is reconciled.